So when Pete Gauguin broke into the major pro ranks, fans of Detroit Red Wings felt he could uh, make a difference on the defensive uh, defensive side of the uh, squad, and that's exactly what he did. Now he played uh, uh, parts of a de- role born a decade in the Red Wings system. He'd play a full season with Detroit, be sent down to the minors, or be sent to teams like the Rangers. He was also a stalwart with the, the Pittsburgh uh, Hornets uh, squad of the AHL and also of the uh, mid-1950s Cleveland Barons. Now, Pete Colgan has a lot of fans throughout North America because when you're from Fort William, Ontario, you're it's a genial community, nice people over there. Why wouldn't wouldn't you want to like a guy from uh, Fort William? Now, it's 6'1", 195, a good, uh, you know, medium, uh, heavy size uh, player. Uh, when he was playing with Cleveland in the 1957 season, he uh, put up some really, really strong numbers uh, with 20 points. Now, he started playing hockey in Fort William, uh, Ontario, and uh, also uh, moved for two seasons to the Northern Ontario Hockey Association before joining professional hockey in 1956 again with the Barons. Now, he was part of that Barons team that won a Calder Cup in that season. But uh, he didn't stay uh, long because major pro calls. And in 1958, he debuted with the, in the NHL with the Red Wings. And um, he played a regular uh, role in protecting Detroit's uh, top skaters, including Gordie Howe. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the majority of players on the team. He wasn't scared to be aggressive, wasn't scared to take a penalty every once in a while. And... Uh, Basically, uh, was a competent player that overachieved in certain situations. Um, I was thinking about uh, uh, the uh, like the '62 season where he kind of had an offensive breakout when he got 10 points in uh, 39 uh, games. Now, for me, his best season uh, was uh, in 1963, where he put up some consistent numbers. 62 games in a regular season, 11 in the playoffs. And Detroit was going on partial uh, uh, Stanley Cup runs at a time. And he would sometimes be playing in the minors and be called up for the playoffs. I'll give an example. 1966, he played the majority of the season with Pittsburgh and it was called up right before their Cup run uh, series against uh, Detroit Red Wings. Now, when he played in the New York Rangers organization, he won another Calder Cup with uh, the Springfield Indians uh, farm team, but then returned to the Red Wings in the next year. Now, uh, he was on loan on occasion as well. He was on loan to Edmonton Flyers of the WHL from Detroit, and all, and that allowed them uh, to win a championship as well. So that means it's a Calder Cup, a WHL uh, title, and another Calder Cup with the Indians. Uh, the... Uh, the Rangers as well uh, allowed him to, uh, you know, uh, hone his skills on behalf of uh, minor pro affiliates because he was called upon to do the same thing in the minors they did in the Red Wings. Now, uh, Gauguin found himself uh, as part of the expansion expansion in 67. He was selected by the uh, Stars in the uh, 67 uh, draft and he, uh, where he played 46 games with the Stars and also some uh, minor league time with the WHL's uh, Phoenix Roadrunners. He retired a year later in 69 after playing with the Baltimore Clippers and the Denver Spurs. And that season he had 59 games and 15 points. So overall a very interesting uh, career. Uh, we often uh, we often think of players like him, the fifth or sixth defenseman, kind of the forgotten uh, you know role players. But uh, this was a request uh, by, by our good buddy Travis Cook. And uh, Travis is, has a great affection for players of all different uh, backgrounds. And this is just another one of the players he, th- he deserves. He thinks he deserves recognition on a channel. I tend to agree. 383 games in the NHL. 86 points, including 19 goals. And uh, 4 points in the playoffs. Again, uh, by the way, um, the spelling of his name uh, is not your typical Gauguin spelling. Okay? Uh, it can be spelled different ways, but he spelled it G O E G A N or Goga. That's how Acadians uh, pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong for like Guga or whatever, I apologize, but that's how we pronounce it. And uh, 
You know, he looks like a hockey player too, don't you think? Like I said, you can see it in the video. He's nice, uh, he's nice smiling face, as we say. Anyway, and uh, you know, uh, Fort. Uh, if you have a chance to go to Fort William, uh, some really nice restaurants in the downtown area. You're gonna love it. Have a good day. Bye.